All right, so how do we apply linear and nonlinear? Okay, now as I mentioned before, ideally you memorize the last six things, like you know exactly what you're supposed to be doing. But let's pretend you didn't do what I asked you to do and you need to do that. So remember I told you, look at the formula sheet and type those babies in. So I've got y equals mx plus b, but their calculator's like, I don't know what m is. I don't know what b is. So make up your own numbers. m is going to be 8. b is going to be 7. Now, is it going to match one of these pictures that says what's a quadratic? No, but it's going to tell us that a linear function is a straight line. And so right away, you can say, well, I know it's not letter A because that's a line. And I know it's not letter D, because that's kind of like a line. Because if we had to do a line of best fit and eyeball it, that's probably there. This one probably is about there. This one probably is here. And this one is, is going to be no correlation, like it's just cuckoo. So we know it's not A. We know it's not D, because those are lines. And it's not B, because it doesn't even have a best um, model. So what is a quadratic? Well, if you don't remember, Here's that formula again. So now let's just type in ax squared plus bx plus c. But what we're going to do is instead of us having a, b, c, we were going to write numbers. I'm going to type in 2, 3, and 4. Guess what? It doesn't matter because all we want is y's and x's. Now we know what a quadratic looks like. It looks like the letter u. Which of those four things look like the letter u? Letter c. Lots of different ways to do it. Lots of different ways. Bye, guys.